What's up you guys? Welcome back to Simon J Views. Nice to see you back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Alyssa. So today we're gonna do a little vlog. Um, it's mm -hmm. October, finally, the first week of October. If you guys don't know me, um, I love Halloween. So for this month, I was thinking I could incorporate a little bit of Halloween into our videos. Of course, with- With Stella and Nova. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Nova, Stella, why are you Stella. fighting? Stella, why are you fighting? Look, even they have, well, Stella has orange. I just took him a bath. Um, I took him to Rocket. Rocket. No, those aren't for playing. So Stella's rocking that um, orange bandana. I just took them to the groomers actually to get these shedded. Finally, it's been some time, but it's been quite hot here. It's still 90 degrees today. Here's Nova. <laughs> and here's Rocket, he's back with the crew for a little bit. So I did want to incorporate a little bit of Halloween into the channel just so I can, you know, do a little variety of things here. Um, I know it's been a lot of like informational videos and or just plain out Australian Shepherd videos and you guys love that but I wanted to see if you guys would like something like this too like seasonal type of videos um, vlogs with the dogs but we're gonna go and head out to go get some pumpkin we're doing a little pumpkin carving today I do have a surprise guest someone you guys have been waiting to see today so we're gonna go ahead and visit them too but besides that we're gonna go ahead and start heading towards the grocery store to get some pumpkins like a big knife for cutting large, medium, and details. Thought of everything here. This is already scary, working with knives. And, uh, I feel like it goes in hard and then it comes out easy. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do... Hmm. These pumpkins are just done. Yeah. I kind of want to do the same thighs. Or actually, it's recording. <laughs> It's not recording. Rocket, you're supposed to be the cameraman. You're the cameraman. The cameraman. The cameraman. She's like, why? She's like, why me? Maybe you can get more footage. You're taller. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No, you can't be up here that much. She said, I still the show. Yeah. Oh no. There's knives up here. No. Roasted or toasted pumpkin seeds are a crunchy fall treat for both you and your dog. So no, but you could eat them. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're raw. Yeah, they're very raw. <laughs> are they good? Oh my god. You did the mouth already? No. I'm still on the eyes. I'm using it like a pencil. I know. Are you? Yeah. Dang, doing circles is really hard. I should have stuck with my <laughs> triangle, my triangle eyes. She smells the pumpkin seeds. She said yum. <laughs> Should we tell them our scary stories? Okay, you go first. <laughs> oh my god. You guys didn't know, my house is haunted. Or it was. I don't think it's haunted anymore. I think the ghost has moved on. When I was younger, there was like a couple of experiences, at least three, um, that happened in the house. Literally this house that we're in right now. And the kind of least scary thing that happened here, but it was still kind of scary, was that um, I was in this room right in back of you guys. So this time I was in the dark, which, I mean, at the time, I remember I wasn't scared at all. So, because sometimes you know when you're scared, you're like thinking of things yeah. and like 
things happen that aren't even happening. But you were actually like minding your own. Yeah, business. like I remember not being scared. And then out of nowhere, I hear a little voice in my left ear that was like, hey, the like littlest voice ever. Like just whisper you felt in my its ear. Breath in I ear. felt it breath. All your hair is on your neck. Yeah, that happened. You know and I just real? ran. You know it's real when she remembers which ear. Yes. The scary thing about the story I just told you, I never told anyone about that experience. So like, well, except for like in my recent years, but like that year, that exact year, I didn't really tell anybody. Um, and I was having a sleepover. My friend started screaming like super crazy. Like she was so scared. Like her soul left her body or something. And everyone was like, what's going on? What happened? And she was like, someone literally whispered in my ear. And I was like, and then I told them like my experience. So then they knew. But that was crazy because she experienced it in my house when like I never even told anybody. And it was the exact same thing, same word. Yeah, it was crazy. And then the final experience, I was like having sleep paralysis. It was actually in the upstairs of my house. Sleep paralysis feels really real. But I'm pretty sure I was sleeping. And like, I'd always imagine this little girl, no, not a girl, she was like really tall, but she had really long hair. But okay, so then like years passed. Oh my God, they're going at it. But yeah, years went by and um, my sister-in-law and me were at the house by ourselves. She was about to leave the house to do, I don't know what. And I was like, okay, like we were saying goodbye. But basically when I turned around, um, I saw a figure upstairs and it looked like that girl that I had a uh, sights of, I guess, in my sleep paralysis. And then right when the figure passed and I couldn't see him anymore, literally my sister-in-law walked through the door, through the front door. And I was like, wait, weren't you just upstairs? And it was like the weirdest thing because that figure was like so vivid. I like had the worst dream. You were in it. Oh no. <laughs> but it's cause um, in my dream you're like taunting it. Yeah. And I was like, no, don't and do it that. Comes out and and it me. came out. It was a he this time. And he was like the most like ugly thing I could like, I don't even know why my brain would imagine that. Why was it, what was his name? I don't know his name. Oh, he didn't say it. You were sitting in the same place as when you were actually here yeah and like I was standing in the same place where I actually was right when you were like taunting I was like don't do it and then I we start like hearing like steps yeah but in my dream like they were so real that's why I was so scared it was, it was literally like so violent like the steps were like boom, 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 like coming all the way down the stairs and then like we got up and then the lights started flickering oh, sure. and then we like ran outside mm -hmm. Josh like pulled up <laughs> and then he you're like he wasn't even there yet yeah he wasn't there yet and then Josh pulled up and then you like got in the car and left me <laughs> <laughs> like my my dream kind of cut yeah and then it was like the next day or something and I was talking to my mom I was like mom I'm surprised you haven't experienced anything in this house and then she was like what do you mean I haven't experienced anything I've experienced a lot of things and I was like like what and then like then, was this really your dream no this is my dream oh. this is still my dream oh, okay <laughs> nothing happened and then she was like, what do you mean? I've experienced so many things. And then I was like, like what? And then she was like, like that man, I always see him. And then in my dream, the worst thing happened. What? I, I saw the man like appear, kind of like insidious. Yeah. You know how like the dev, the demon appears like behind the On guy? On the side of the face? Yeah. It happened like that, but like it was like my own guy kind of like I meant oh ugh. and the scary thing was it was 3 25 a.m. and I was like oh heck no I'm not waking up <laughs> he told you if you let that little girl taunt me again I'll come for her yeah honestly why didn't so you scary. tell me it happened literally like a week ago but I was in the dream I have a right to know I guess so I'm sorry <laughs> we're probably giving these people like panic attacks oh with no the way we're cutting <laughs> I, th I feel like I would be scared. <laughs> but yeah, let's hear yours. I was talking for a very long time. I think I only have like one or two. Yeah. yeah. When I was in second grade, we moved to a two-story house. The bottom floor had like 
One, two, four rooms. My brother Jerry, Melissa's husband, <laughs> invited all his friends over so we could play head and go seek in the dark. It was late, it was super dark, and all the lights were off. And we thought it was a good idea, so. And it was Jerry, me, my brother Noah, my brother Isaac, Jerry's friend. My brother Isaac was it. Yeah, there's eight of us playing hide and go seek. And my stepbrother was counting to 10. I was the only one who stayed downstairs to hide. And I was in like our laundry room, and I hid in one of the laundry baskets because you know I was tiny. I fit. And I heard my stepbrother Isaac go upstairs. Like I actually heard him walk up the stairs after he was done counting. So I was the only one downstairs. By the time I got out, uh, somebody had already been found. So we we're gonna start all over. But when my stepbrother Isaac was like, all right, you guys can come out now. I found so-and-so. Everybody that was hiding on the third floor came running down the stairs. And my brother Jerry saw a red hand on the handrail. I didn't see it, I wasn't paying attention. Everybody started like freaking tumbling down the stairs, basically trying to run away. I thought it was really scary because we were all in the, in the dark and him saying something like that and he started crying. Like the way he reacted, I guess, kind of scared all of us. So we just stopped playing. Yeah, he oh. denies it too now. Yeah, now when I bring it up, he denies it. But He's everybody like, else who was there knows that he did act like that. Yeah. And then last but not least, I think I was like five years old. And we were living in the house that I've known my whole life. Like, I grew up there. I was in bed with my mom's boyfriend at the time. My mom was at work, I think. So I was watching Winnie and the Pooh. It's like bright as day. Like I remember this so clearly, like it was yesterday. I was looking at the wall basically watching TV. I was just like, wow, Pinky, Poo, you know. Like, Pinky. What's his name? Donkey. Don Is his name Donkey? Uh, yeah. Donkey. No, it's Eeyore. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was amazed by the characters and the show, you know. So. Yeah. I heard some somebody walking in the kitchen, so I turned around and I looked at the door, and it's pitch black out there, except there's like a china in the kitchen, um, and the china light was on. So that was the only light source I had to like look out there. Anyways, I turned and I looked out there because I heard somebody walking in the kitchen, you know? So I thought it was one of my brothers. I was gonna be like, oh, hey, Jerry or Kevin or Noah, whoever it was. I turned around and there's this tall ass freaking ghost standing at the door. I thought it was a man at the time, you know, because I didn't know what ghosts were. She was so I thought it was a man inside the house, tall, okay, like tall, like maybe seven or eight foot. And my brothers are not that tall. I was like, who is this man? You know, why are they in the house? So I woke up my mom's boyfriend and I was like, I was like, Joe, Joe, there's somebody in the house. Look, look at the door. And he was like, oh, it's just an angel. Just go back to sleep. He didn't even look at the door or anything. So I, I was like pushing him and I was like, Joe, look, there's somebody inside the house. And I could not like, to this day, like, you don't know. To this day, I don't know who it was. I just remember I was so scared. Okay, so we're back. She's all eating my pumpkin. Look at this little precious pooch. <laughs> this is Kaylali. You haven't been in the video? Oh my goodness. This is Kaylali. Did I already say that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, we finished my pumpkin. Dang, it looks good on camera. It does. My eyeballs fell out. No. Of my pumpkin. Did you change your... I mean, it looks good too. Yeah. You guys can't tell. She's a golden retriever. Pretty sure you could tell. She's so cute. She's the new addition to my family. To Bethany's family. You can check her out on Bethany's channel. Yeah, it's Goodness Genevieve. Yep. So this have, is my pumpkin. I'll have links down below and everything. So you guys can go see her more. But we finished our pumpkins. This is our pumpkins. This is the final product. Yeah. What do you guys think? Oh, I no. think the stories were more interesting. Yeah. But this was very fun. I would do it again. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. But the it sun, was fun. The sun is gone. 
Um, yeah, yours looks really good to be honest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our pumpkin carving and our scary stories. If you guys like the Halloween videos, let me know. I think I'm going to end up posting um, Halloween videos every weekend. So if you don't like it, also let me know <laughs> so I'm not like just making videos just to make videos. But I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Also, I think you guys should include your own stories in the comments so we yes. could read them. It would be really interesting. Which one was your scariest? scariest encounter of a ghost in your life. Don't forget to check out Bethany's channel. What do you make on your channel? I have a lot of different content but as of right now I'm introducing my dogs with some unboxing. Unboxing. And if you want to find out what box go to my channel. So yeah I'm gonna have the links down below. You check it out. She has great stuff on there. Yes. And yeah, besides all of that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!